No, I didn't write. I didn't edit shit into mm. it this time. I just want. Did you make a margarita? It's uh, lemonade. Oh, <laughs> way off. <laughs> it's lemonade. After the store, I had a sale on vodka. <laughs> God damn it. It's hot. It's delicious. Try some. No. You're going to go home and fucking make one. I'm just going to go home. <laughs> <laughs> I love a good margarita, dude. Yeah, they're good. If you go to fucking like... I thought about buying a blender uh, recently. You don't have a blender? No. No. I don't have a... Not everybody has a blender. And then I started listening to Eve 6 inside. And uh, they said hard in a blender. And that's what made me want to get a blender so I can make margaritas. Margaritas are great. I, get I don't know how my recipes. mind works, but it does. Um, but then I ended up just not buying that. I bought like posters <laughs> and a fucking frame, you went to the store which for frames posters? are so expensive. A poster frame? F- yeah. For one, it's like 25 bucks. I mean, that's not that expensive, but a fucking frame. I think you're like, getting ripped off. I, t- I, I got to get a frame guy, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. You need a guy for your frame? I need a guy. Or a girl. Relax, Disney. Um, Fuck Disney. Yeah, I will. But uh, it's uh <laughs> Gross. All of it? Yeah. <laughs> the whole Marvel Universe? Yeah. Who are you starting with? Hulk? Yes. Hulk's going down. Yikes. <laughs> That's an awful visual. I'm going to Hulk smash him. Like, anyways. Yikes, bud. God, what is going on? This is the start. Yeah, let's just. It's not going to get better. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Killers, welcome all you kings, scream queens, and everything in between. This is the Kings of Kill podcast. This right here is, yep. We're your, we're your hosts. My name is Zach. Thanks, bud. I'm Steven. Together we are the, the kings, kings of, of kill. kill. We did it. As an accident. Honey, like a, it's so cute. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Tell me to get the fuck out. Hey. You going to do this alone? Nope. <laughs> no. Nope. I retract all my statements. staring into the camera by yourself. Yeah. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in, no matter where you're watching, so we don't give a shit. Uh, you can watch or listen to us on Spotify, hang out on YouTube. Thank you so much. It doesn't matter where you are. Thank you for being a killer fan. We appreciate you. Each and every episode is thanks to you, thanks to your request, anything horror thanks. related. That wasn't sincere. That was barely a thank the people. Thank, thank our Thank killers. the people. Don't hide. I mean, I didn't, Yikes. Mean, I didn't mean to do that. Get your yeah. fucking pale ass thanks, out of here. people. Fuck. <laughs> I'm going to blur it out so nobody can take that out of context. Yeah, no one's going to take anything out of this fucking show out of context for sure. I don't. We're out of context. Yeah, it's true. What are we talking about? Uh, Nothing but Here's trouble. The t- I need the title. <laughs> I was trying to think of what it was called. I was going to say double, double, troil and trouble or what's up? Double, trouble. Dude, that's the. What's called? Is that Nothing the, but trouble. Wait. That's the that's the rhyme to uh Hocus Pocus? Yeah, yeah, isn't it? Hocus Pocus is so fucking good. I think it's that or with a mix it's like a remix of like the Mary Kay and Ashley <laughs> Halloween, a remix? I guess. Dude, Mary Kay I dude double, That's double, on the list. I'm so double, excited. Double pumpkin Mary Kay and pumpkin. Ashley, the fucking mystery Olsen Olsen Mystery Agency. Yeah. We'll solve any crime by dinner time. That's coming up. We can't Not fucking any wait crime. for that. They didn't Zodiac. It is that's what they say. <laughs> Don't put the little girl Elsa Swins against the Zodiac, you psychopath. I would like to see that. Dude, didn't they never catch the Zodiac? I don't think they caught shit. <laughs> they, they think there's a... They never caught the Zodiac, but then, like, the Zodiac died, and all of a sudden they're like, hey, we know who the Zodiac is. Wait, he died? He how, died. how do they know if they never caught him? DNA. They finally got DNA from, like, sperm or something crazy cool, but I don't know. There's something cool about... Sperm, yeah. Zo- <laughs> it's funny. Ew. Ew. <laughs> what? 
Uh, first off, thank you to Seth for Great being stuff. a long time <laughs> killer fan. Uh, how he requested this is he left us a voicemail on Spotify. If you're listening or watching us on Spotify, underneath the description or somewhere, there's a little link you can, you can actually send us a voicemail. It's pretty cool. If you're watching on YouTube, there's up in the comment section. Each and every episode of this thanks to you. Nothing but trouble. Thanks to Seth. 1991, rated PG-13, hour 34 minute runtime. Written by Mr. Dan fucking Aykroyd. Dan also, the man. Co-written by Peter Aykroyd, his brother. Uh, his directi- his directorial debut, Dan Aykroyd took the helms on this one, starring Chevy Chase. Dan Aykroyd has like 38 characters. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> John fucking Candy. I love John Candy. Jonathan J. Candy is in this. It's great. Why do you make up everyone's middle names? I don't know, but he plays a horny granddaughter. It's great. <laughs> he's not wrong. <laughs> he's mute. Best role of a lifetime. He's way better in this than Wagons East. Stupid. <laughs> Wagons East rules. I'm sorry. This is a good movie. Also starring Demi Moore. Had a budget of $40 million. Went on to make almost 10. Almost did it. Almost. <laughs> he almost had it. Came out around Valentine's Day, oddly enough. It's a good Valentine's Day movie. Don't know why. Watch this with multiple women. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Yikes, dude. <laughs> Filmed on location at Gravestone Park and Mansion in Beverly Hills. Cool. So, I okay, so this is not a good movie. I can't explain this to anybody <laughs> without them thinking, like, I'm... <laughs> Making it up. This movie has won so many Razzies. And it's great. It should win all the awards. But here's the thing. <laughs> I don't hate it at all. No. It, it's like an original take. But like, take. this really is a shithole of a Roy's movie. fucking original take of like House of a Thousand Corpse. Yeah, well, he wanted to make... Rob Zombie ripped this. He said he wanted... Castle. He said... Uh, Ackroyd <laughs> said that he wanted to make... Like a Texas Chainsaw meets Beetlejuice kind of vibe. Yeah, he did it. He's not it's off. It's definitely like Texas Chainsaw 2. I don't know why he sure. has a dick for a nose in some scenes and I not mean, other scenes. I don't know. It, this is like a SNL after this, party. Th- that's the thing. So this, so <laughs> this Dan Aykroyd is... all the SNL so, parties. So think of this. Like, so Dan Aykroyd's fucking out of this world, right? He believes in everything. Yeah. Bigfoot, UFOs, anything Ghost. that you could... Who are you going to call? Not Dan. Fucking do- <laughs> that dude. So, but here's the thing. All his ideas, like, he was, I think, had writer for SNL for, for years. But you're in a writing panel, so when you pitch out a crazy idea, you get calmed down a little bit, you know? Right. He wrote the original concept for Blues Brothers. Fucking amazing. Hello. Great cars He wrote. That. It's a great, great movie. Come on. Cop car scenes. Dude, that chase scene's it's what wild. I like the most about I it. I think it's the biggest pileup. Still in movie history. Probably. I think it's like 200 cars Biggest wreck or something. something. It's crazy. Um, he was so fast and furious. That was for I you. I didn't even make that. Throwback to season one and two and I'm two and a half. Any edits to that one because I didn't make the reference. Uh, <laughs> then Ghostbusters. Uh, again, original concepts, but he gets calmed down. So his original idea for Ghostbusters, for example, was to have... Um, what was the car called? The... Star Wars. Um, <laughs> right. I went right for like the Nebuchadnezzar. That's fucking Matrix. It's like the Ecto-1. Uh, yeah, right. That was originally a spaceship. They were going to be in space. The original plan was it was going to be Dan Aykroyd. It was going to be uh, Eddie Murphy. And it was going to be uh, 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 Belushi. Ed Murph. That's crazy. <laughs> you friends? Yeah. <laughs> Don't let me leave, Murph. <laughs> Every time I <laughs> uh, It was going to be them. It was going to be action packed, and it was going to be called Ghost Smashers, and they're going to beat the shit out of like. Would have been way cooler. Paranormal. The Coke. Ghostbusters been... is so good. Yeah, so good. instant classic. But again, he gets calmed down. This time, he wrote it. His brother helped out. Not a professional writer. His brother. No, I'm not digging on his brother, but like, and he had the reins. No one else co-directed. No one helped him. So it was just him directing while in full costume because he would stay in that. The, the prosthetics were too heavy. So he stayed just, in that. Was so busy, he gave the main cast their own screens to play back because he couldn't direct them because he was in the set. So he would just say, watch it, and if like you think it should be done better, do it again. Jesus Christ. 
It's just 90 minutes of hot, moist steam. <laughs> it's like society, but like without, I the don't know. societal parts. I mean, it's like culty and like. Yeah, it's fucking wild. A lot of dripping shit. It's weird. But uh, it, it's a weird, it's so weird. I can't believe I've never seen it this was before. fucking Tupac in like this. A, was fucking Tupac in this. Tupac was in this. It what was, was, was great, that? It was a great. Uh, it was a uh, digital playground or digital underground featuring Tupac. Was that it? Yeah, I think that's the guy that sings like Humpty Hump. Yeah, I think so. Let's. Just... It's not even on on buzz. <laughs> it's on loud now. Let's just get crazy. But anyways. Digital uh, underground plays in a crazy scene while Demi Moore is playing cards, and uh, while Dan Demi Moore can do whatever the fuck she wants in a to. big baby diaper, and Chevy Chase is uh, nothing you're saying is marrying inaccurate. John Candy dressed as a woman. That is one scene. That's like that is one. Whole that's a scene. one one minute and twenty Tupac, second span. Demi Moore playing cards. Chevy Chase getting married to John Candy and Dan Aykroyd in a fat suit wearing a diaper. With a dick for a In mess. one scene. I can't explain this to anybody and make them think that I'm making sense. How is this a movie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the one that I just Chevy wish, Chase marries John Candy. I just wish that it's crazy. Like, I know the movie's shit and no, it wasn't funny, but God damn, it was a wild ride. It was funny. For it, sure. I would watch this back to back with like... The burbs for some reason. I could, I could. All right. It's a good I '90s that. vibe. Yeah, '80s, '90s. Let's, it's, just, let's it's, go with '80s, yeah, '90s. Yeah, on like the Superstation. Yeah, was it TBS? TBS Superstation. Yeah, Superstation, and then it went TBS. But back then, Superstation played shit just like this. It's fucking wild. But here's like, I just wish that because I think Dan Aykroyd is a very, very talented person. I wish he got more. Opportunities to direct, but after this, he just got shut the fuck Which down. Which sucks, because I thought this was fun as fuck. It, I th- it was a good... It's I insane. It was a cool watch. It's not a good movie. It, like, it's not a good movie. Of, it's so not fucking funny. But then again, how funny is Chevy Chase? Sorry, man. In this movie? <laughs> like, John Candy was funny. John Candy was As very, the cop... And he didn't even say a single thing. As the cop, he did. He did? I thought he was, like, mute. No. This whole entire movie. Only the chick, only only the twin sister, who also played by Johnny Candy, is mute. Oh, okay. The cop talks. Shit. He was a twin? I thought it was just John Candy the whole time playing dress up. Like, no, uh, that was on. his twin sister. Oh, shit. I didn't even catch that. I watched this. You just thought. <laughs> I seriously you thought. You just thought the cop. Yeah, after he was like, oh, I got off them. work. And he just puts on his, you know. <laughs> Maybe. Drag and then, like, gets married to Chevy Chase. That's he's a thing. really good actor. He's the best movies man of the house. But, I love um, John Candy so much. Yeah, it's great. Great dude. Actually, he took this role because he said no to Ghostbusters. Was he going to play Slimer? He's going to be one of the main characters. That's fucked up. <laughs> Slimer, you're such a dick, dude. <laughs> God damn. He's going to play the state push, puff mushroom. Shut the anyways. fuck up. Anyways, be nice to John Candy. He was in Wagon Z. So everybody relax. Was, he was in real life. Well, I can see he's You're just jealous because you ain't so thick, you little bitch. I'm jealous he had a heart attack. I don't want to be here anymore either. So Anyways. sad. <laughs> oh, my God. Damn, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't know this was a movie. Like, I've seen posters, but I've never seen this fucking movie. I have, yeah, I've seen it. And I didn't know Dan Arco directed a movie. I, I've seen the cover so many times, and I didn't think that was Danny, Dan Aykroyd. In that suit that he looks like an old man, because I thought it was when like he's the judge. I thought it was the guy from, like the sheriff or whatever in Rambo, or the the dad in uh, I know. Tommy Boy, <laughs> Tommy Boy's dad. I thought it was him in like a fat suit in the cover, but it's not. So it was him in a fat earth suit. <laughs> yeah, but I was like, yeah, I didn't know that was Danny G. Aykroyd. <laughs> What's the G for, dude? Good night, because I'm going to bed after this. Um... Yeah, it's, I don't know, I didn't, I never thought it was like a com. I didn't know what it was, but it's got Chevy Chase, obviously, well, it's, probably a comedy. It's, it's a failure, but, but. Not in our hearts. But think of it, though, this was his, like, this was his freshman attempt, like, give this guy another shot. Would he 
put together. Also, well, not now, he, but. he managed to he managed to nab the set designer or the production designer of the same guy that did RoboCop and uh, uh, what's that Arnold fucking Total Recall, the Sixth Day, Total oh. Recall. Oh yeah, that one's good. Not the Sixth Day. <laughs> that movie. That fucking movie. Which, look at the set to this. this what it's would you very do elaborate. You found out you had a clone, and you were the clone. That movie's trippy. The movie's super trippy. The movie's super underrated. Yeah. Are you sad? I was just thinking what I would do if I found out if I was the clone. Then I, I saw myself, but I was the clone this whole time. I don't even know. Were you a clone? I could be. I very well could be. And it sounds boring because the two of me, ugh, good luck, world. Anyways. Double trouble. This movie had a great set, actually. It seemed it, almost not like Clue, but like. Tons of practical, like elaborate booby traps and shit. There's a lot of boobies. But um, yeah, like when they push the button, they all fall down. That fucking slide. I love that shit. The roller coaster. Trap doors. Yeah. And then it's like at a Sliding junkyard. Rugs. Junkyard explodes. And walls. Fucking weird. It's weird. It's a very strange movie. And I don't know how we've never seen this because it's got this a lot right of up SNL our fucking characters. Alley. It's got our favorite. Like, it's got grew up some of the OG people. cast in this. Yeah, yeah, Demi Moore. But I don't know. It's no. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's strange. I've never heard of. it. I think if I've if seen the Ackroyd poster. just had a little help, had a little someone calming him down, making shit more streamlined, like what happens in every other successful production he's been a part of this would have been really fucking good i just think like he was off in fucking outer space and no one no one said can we chill like and he's like no no it's just make it more insane yeah and incoherent I, I think this should have got more of a follow i think it would easily make it's 40 mil like it, it just should have it well think of it it came budget. out it came out in 91 got shed on by critics and that's when they really fucking matter what came out in 91 hook want to find out no what did come out 91. See, I know you wanted to know. I know what I want. I shut Tell up. Tell me what you want. We really want. It's a good album. I want. I just watched Spice World. Actually, did you fuck a couple really? weeks ago? Yeah, dude. One time, I had to see if it was still good. When you I was know a kid, me and my older sister were in a fight, and she threw a Spice Girl CD at me. You guys figure fighting over who's gonna be Jerry Spice? <laughs> There's a Jerry. I'm Jerry Spice. No, I am. There's a Jerry Spice. Yes, yeah, the British one. Isn't that ginger spice? That's what I meant. That's what I said. Jerry. What did you what'd you hear? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, there's ginger, there's scary, there's baby. I don't know. What else is there? Posh and sporty. Came came out quick. Shit. Dude, Beauty and the Beast came out. T- oh, that's why. T2, oh, Silence yeah. of the Lambs. Boys in the Hood, JFK, Cape Fucking Fear, Backdraft, okay, City, fuck this City movie. Slickers, Hook, Point Break, Adam's oh, Family. Hook come out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hot Shots? Dude, Hot Shots oh, hot is shots so is the good. Best one on the whole entire list. But oh, yeah. my. The Fisher King? That's fucking heavy. It's got Robin Williams. But. Father of the Bride. Good movie. Dances with Wolves. I'm not putting any of these posters up. But holy shit, yeah. No wonder why this movie one, bad. two, then like, I'm tired. I feel like people should have seen this, and it would have got its budget if there's already, watch, well, Who released this at Valentine's, and who let Dan Aykroyd just, like, do whatever? Yeah, that's probably the Who let him write to... an entire script and then and then edit something without being touched? I want this touched. out on V-Day. That's the, sick. The guy that, like, Dumb. hunts Bigfoot's ghost on his spare time. Yeah, he's I'm not dogging the guy. I think he's so fucking talented. He's a cool guy. I mean, he's in cone heads. You ever try his vodka? No. It comes in a crystal skull. Vodka. I don't care for it. I'll drink it, all right? But I just don't care. That's why I hate vodka. <laughs> uh, yeah, the movie's shit. It's not funny. I fucking dug it. I was just mesmerized the entire time. I had a great time. time. I had like, a great what time. is happening here? I kicked my feet. Could you demonstrate? No. No. Rate this. Okay. <laughs> uh, John Candy was a mute, horny grandfather or granddaughter. So that gets one star automatically. He didn't need to do that, but he did. He didn't need to do that. No. So one star for Jonathan Candy. 
Um, I like a house of a thousand corpse, so that's one star. <laughs> it is a lot like because that. It's, it's, it's the same house. It's got the same kind of things. I don't know. I thought it was actually a fun film. I had, I had a good time. I had a good time. I'm just going to give it a one star for good time. I never get a good star for that. A good star. You only get one bad star stars? for good time. Okay. Uh, Demi Moore didn't have a shaved head in this, and you know, <laughs> don't Jane make a GI Jane J- that joke. That is a G- which goes into Will that Smith is... joke, and I'm so sick oh, of Will Smith jokes. Fuck Will Smith. Fuck Will minus Smith. Minus one star for fuck Will Jada. Smith. Fuck them all. Minus one star for Will Smith. <laughs> J. Jane's a bad bitch. Uh, not once did Chevy Chase in this whole entire movie mention that in four years he would be in A Man of the House, which is his best film. So that's kind of rude. He should have told us. During the movie. Speaking of rude, I heard he's a major fucking asshole. He is. He's got a big one. And uh, (laughs) minus one star because he should have told us he was going to be a man of the house in four years. He's rushing to the shitter all the time because it just falls out of him. Yes. With his gaping giant asshole. (laughs) Minus one star. For that? No, for everything I said. Three out of five. It's a three out of five. I think everything we rate is three out of five. Well, they're all just okay movies. <laughs> I can't. I can't fucking. They're not all bangers, and they're all not Jeepers Creepers Reborn. So, <sighs> dog shit. But most of them are. But it was. It was just like right. It was. It was good enough that I would watch this again with like other people. <laughs> Come think of it. Good. It good, good ratings. I would great. watch this again with other people. Would it be safe? No. Are they going to say stupid things afterward? Yes. But I had fun, and I would again. So, fuck you. (laughs) There you have it. (laughs) Fuck you. (laughs) Uh, Thank you, Seth, for your request. Make sure to request your very episode of the Kingskin Podcast. Super easy. On Spotify, you can leave us a voicemail. On YouTube, hit us up in the comments. Or you can email us, kingskillpodcast at gmail. Thank you so much for listening, for watching, wherever the fuck you are. Thanks for being a killer fan. My name's Zach. I'm Steven. Together we are. The Kings King, of Kill. You keep rusted. You're so excited. I don't know. After this, I'm going to go watch something funny and watch Jacob's Ladder. God damn, dude. <laughs> Shit's funny. It goes seen... up a ladder and falls. It's so sad. Don't Have you seen the Jacob. remake? What? Have you seen the remake? I don't know. I There's a remake? Yeah. With who? I don't, I'm not sure of the actor. Martin Lawrence? Great. No. No. 